Let's go through how to calibrate a pressure transmitter using the Fluke 754 documenting process calibrator. In this example, we're going to measure the milliamp signal drawn by the pressure transmitter as well as powering it with an internal loop power supply. We're going to generate pressure with the hand pump into the Fluke pressure module, which is also then connected to the input of the pressure transmitter. To initiate the test, we want to measure milliamps and turn on the loop power. Next step is to configure the source for pressure. And pressure. Vent to atmosphere and press clear zero in case there's any electronic offset to clear. Next, we go to the split screen to do calibration. Select as found for an instrument. We're going to measure 4 to 20 milliamps to a test tolerance of 0.5 percent. And we're going to source 0 to 100 psi. And we're going to do a three point test. When we select manual test, the calibrator will tell us the pressure to apply, and if we have the correct pressure applied, we accept that point. Now the calibrator asks me to go to 50 psi. I close the vent and pump to 50 psi. Use the fine adjust to dial in the pressure value. Then go to 100 psi. And use a fine adjust veneer in the pump to dial in the value. And accept that value. Here's the post-test summary with the pressure that was applied, the milliamp that was measured, and the error percent of span. All errors percent of span are in for video indicating that the pressure transmitter was within the allowable test tolerance. So this pressure transmitter passes this calibration test. That's how you verify the performance of a pressure transmitter using the Fluke 754 documenting process calibrator.